All right, in a previous video, I showed you how to turn a photo like this into a mock-up where all you had to do was relink to your next design and it would fill it in for you. So you can make mock-ups for listing photos. Here's an example of three that we use for all of our envelope liner listing photos. But what if you have a ton of designs that you wanna make mock-ups for and you don't wanna to have to go through and click every single time, say you have 10 designs, this is three different photos, you'd have to do that and save them individually at least 30 times. So I'm gonna show you today how I'm gonna take all nine of these new envelope liner designs and I'm gonna use six different mock-ups and create six listing photos for each of those nine designs with only like three or four steps. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer. I love to teach people how to design invitations and run successful stationary businesses. Now, since I've gotten into selling envelope liners, they're wonderful. I love doing them, but they always require a lot of setup for a product that I want to kind of keep introducing a bunch of designs for. So for every listing that I add, I have to have at least these three listing photos, maybe even a few more. Now, I was wondering if there was some kind of script that would do all of that changing and saving it out for me, and I was able to find one. It is called Bulk Mockup. So this is Bulk Mockup. I'm going to link in the description. It's $8 a month, and I'll show you exactly how freaking powerful this is. Right now we have these nine designs that we're trying to add to our minted uh, catalog for square flap envelopes because mostly minted sell square flap envelopes. So I think if I offer those, then the people I mentioned who are already buying their square flap envelopes are going to be more inclined to purchase the liners. So what I did at the beginning was I created the mock-ups and I have another video showing you how I did that. But for the square flaps, I created six different ones. I also want to use these as my Etsy listing photos, so I only need three fermented, but I'm going to use all six uh, when I do the Etsy listing photos. And there's a couple of things that you need to do uh, with your mock-up. In general, it's just about keeping it simple, but if you have any specific questions, there are tutorials over on this tutorial page, or they're really good at getting back to you if you have issues after you've watched the tutorials. In general, it should just be um, a smart object here, and it should be linked to your file directly. It shouldn't be kind of nesting smart files within smart files, etc. And then you should set this by like rotating it and positioning in it exactly how you want it to be positioned. And I like to keep it really simple. There can only be one smart file in your mock-up or it might confuse things. So if you kind of start this and it doesn't work, that might be the reason. Another thing is you can't have anything open in Photoshop when you're using bulk mockups. So you just want to close out of everything. I'm not going to save that and start from here. We'll go to uh, the window and extensions legacy and we'll add bulk mockup. And I like to have everything in its own folder. So when you click start bulk mockup, you'll have three different folders you need to find. So one is the PSD template. This is all of the mockups. So that is the square mockups is what I'm gonna choose. And export location is the output. So where do you want the final files to be? Um, for me, it's going to be in listing photos and then square flap listing photos. We'll select that photo. And then the design is all the different designs that you wanna make mockups for. And so that one is here in square liner. So those are those nine files that I showed you. And then we will keep the aspect ratio and our file type is JPEG. And it'll do some temporary resizing the design files that just helps it run a little more smoothly. So let's click run bulk mockup and see what happens. So for a while, it's just gonna kind of cycle through all of the designs and you'll be able to see everything happening. Sometimes it stops and you can't really see anything, but it is still winding that little circle, kind of like this. <laughs> um, and it's going to take a little while. It's gonna look like Photoshop's going crazy. And if you have a ton of mock-ups or they're really big, it's going to take longer. So I'm gonna see if I can keep talking as long as this takes. <laughs> it might take a while. And sometimes it'll just, um, stop and that might uh, show that you have an issue but as you can see we kind of cycled through we did all of that one mock-up and now we're doing this mock-up with all the different designs and we'll probably switch to a different mock-up in a second once it gets done with those nine let's see yep so now we've switched to a different mock-up and so this is just going to keep going for a little while I'm going to speed it up and cut to the end let's see how long it actually takes it's 10 01 now
All right, and then Photoshop will just stop here when you are finished. It's 10.02 right now, so you can see that took less than two minutes at least uh, to do all of those. And now let's see what we have created. So we want to go to our, out our output file, which was again in this listing photos and then square flap listing photos. And what it does within this folder is it takes each design and makes its own folder with all of the different mockups for that design in it. So you'll see all six mockups for the black, black sketch design here, and then you'll see all six mockups for the butterflies here. So we have all of them. And this is one of the reasons I like to kind of name the designs beforehand. So when you're in this folder with square liners, I like to name these files um, just so that when I get to that point with the different folders, it's really easy for me to see which one is where. And then usually I like to put them in one large folder kind of like this as opposed to the individual ones. So what I'm actually going to do to do that is just search within this larger folder, JPEG, JPEG, because that's the type of file they are. And then it'll give me all of these and I can just cut and then paste them out here. Now I have all of my different mockups and I can delete the little folder. So you can do however you want for organization. If you have like 400 designs, it's probably easier to keep them in the folders, uh, but I don't. But we've gone ahead and made uh, 54 listing photos in a matter of two minutes. And then what's cool is all the time I spent setting up the mockups in Photoshop, they're going to continue working in the future. So I don't have to do any of that setup again. I would just have to upload new designs and then run the same bulk mockup template and it would be good to go. So as a reminder, this Photoshop extension is called Bulk Mockup, and I'm going to link it for you in the corner and in the description of this video, but it will save you so, so, so much time if you're constantly making mockups. And this can be used on, you know, t-shirt mockups, mug mockups, anything that you want. I created these mockups for envelope liners myself, but if you want to purchase mockups, sometimes you just have to do a little bit of like flattening and simplifying. So they only have kind of one smart object in them and their support is really good if you do have any issues. Uh, this is definitely going to save you a lot of time if you're constantly doing a lot of mock-ups and listing photos. Let me know what questions you have about bulk mock-up and I can try to get them answered for you. Um, I also have a ton of other videos about running a successful creative business on my channel. While you're here, I hope you'll check some of them out. Thank you.